channel guys i'm so excited i'm doing a collab video with my friend sandy she's a bomb y'all we've always you know hit each other up talk about makeup like she's like my makeup best friend pretty much so we decided to put together three different videos for you guys one for thanksgiving one for christmas and then another one for new year's eve so stay tuned for the other videos so i will leave her link in the description to her video and make sure you guys subscribe to her channel too so if you guys want to know how to get this nice fall thanksgiving makeup then keep watching and we will jump into the video starting with these tart drops we're just gonna drop them on her face like this little did i know my face was gonna be like this just wait for it y'all Oh god, it's going to my eye. Oh, it's in my eye. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh shit. Woo! And then taking my MAC Studio Moisture Cream, just gonna apply that all over my face and rub that ish in. To further hydrate my face, I'm using the Lightful C softening lotion by MAC. Now um, that we have the skin prepped, um, we're just gonna let everything kind of soak in. Kind of let my eye chill out a little bit. <laughs> that fucking burned. Now, time for There will be an in-depth eyebrow tutorial coming soon. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion and priming my eyes with that. Now on to the main event, y'all. You just want to take this tan color and apply that as our transition shade in the upper crease and just keep building that color until it's in as intense as you want it to be. And then take this warm brown with the same fluffy brush and apply that to our crease as well. Now you just want to take some concealer so we can do a cut crease with a flat brush and this is the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. But cut crease you just want to follow the natural shape of your crease and I like to just look down and then back up and just to make sure I have the right shape and you want to make sure that you leave the outer corner with no concealer and taking a matte 217 just a small tapered blending brush and this burgundy color you just want to concentrate that on the outer corner and kind of bring it on to the concealer right there as you see me do and you just want to blend with the clean brush so that way you don't have any harsh edges taking a flat brush in this cold shade here in the middle we're just going to be applying that to the concealer that we put on there and make sure you get really close to that line but not too close because when you blend it's going to erase the line that you want and then taking a little bit more of that burgundy shade packing it on top of the gold just a little bit to build the intensity that we want and blend 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 and then using my 24 7 urban decay liner in perversion we're just going to line the top and the bottom and smoke that out with a flat brush and i forgot to put this burgundy chain on the bottom so we're just going to do that real quick And it should look something like this. Then I'm using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara and applying that to the top and bottom lashes before adding falsies. You can leave it like this or you can add some falsies. Make it more dramatic. Mm-hmm. And taking my Fenty Beauty Primer, I'm going to prime my face. And then I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation. My shade is 260, I believe. I don't know how I feel about this foundation still. I haven't given it enough tries, I feel like, but I, don't, I just don't know how I feel about it. And I'm using my MAC 170 brush to apply it and blend it out. Don't forget that net, girl. And taking my all-time favorite concealer, Shart, Shart, Tart Shape Tape. <laughs> And I'm going to be applying that to my under eyes and the high points of my face to highlight. 
and I'm blending that with a triangle sponge. And then for contouring, I'm just taking my Studio Fix powder in W30 using this MAC 129 brush and make sure you apply it only to one side of the brush so you will get a nice application. Now I'm setting my concealer with the Laura Mercier Under Eye Secret Brightening Powder. And you literally want to apply it and then dust it right off because this ish will definitely brighten. To highlight, we're taking the OG MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. For my blush, I'm using this shade right here. It is called Eternal Sun. And you know you gotta set your face. So I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Medium to set and blend out everything as well. Now we are moving on to the lips. And I want to start by prepping using the new Clinique. This is one, this is the lip balm. I forgot what it's called, but it's nice. For my lip liner, I'm using Vino by Mac. And you want to line your lips as well as fill in most of your lip. And then I used my favorite dark liquid lipstick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sad Girl. The setting spray I'll be using today is the All Nighter by Urban Decay. Thank you guys so 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 much for tuning in watching the video i hope you guys learned something from the video as well and i hope you guys checked out sandy's video because hers is bomb because you know we're just we're just bomb jk but kind of serious at the same time yeah just leave me some comments down below make sure you subscribe like and i will see you guys next time okay